This is Bonnie Prepper Bill. Uh, today I want to talk about wood stoves and upkeep, maintenance. Um, the problem we were having was smoke coming in the house. We even burn all kinds of wood, whatever we can get our hands on. Some of it might not be the driest. We really don't burn pine, but some of it's not as good as it should be. We try and burn hot when we can, but at night we turn it down to, so we're not going through wood. We just turn it down, let it you know, burn a little bit through the night. The problem we were having is when you go to throw, even if it's burning real good and hot, you get a good flow. If we open the door just a little bit to throw wood in there, smoke was coming in the house pretty bad. Uh, so you pretty much had to open that door, have the wood ready, throw it in, close the door, and the whole house is full of smoke. I went out and checked the chimney and the top, the cap. It's got that mesh screen around it to keep birds from getting in there. Well, that kept getting clogged with creosote. And I had the cleaning brush, the six inch brush that you put on the pole, go up there, I'm cleaning it, got all the creosote out of the, po the pipe. There wasn't a lot, but I was going up to the top where the brush was hitting the cap. And I was tapping it, you know, on and off, not too hard to knock the cap off. And creosote was coming down. I'd do it some more, you know, bang, 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 and stuff was coming down. I could see through it a little bit better. It worked a little bit, but we were still getting a little bit of smoke inside. So I took a wire brush and I put uh, hose clamps on a pole, put that on another long pole when I was trying to clean the cap, trying to knock the creosote in. That didn't work. A little bit, but not much. What I ended up doing this time was I have a long pole that you, you change light, lights with, or light bulbs, it's like a long extending pole. It's still not high enough, but if I get on the ladder and use that, I can get up there. But what I was doing, I took a piece of fur strip, like a one by strip. I couldn't find any nails, but I put two screws in it, and I would get up to the top, and I would get a little bit from the cap, and the two screws, I would like bang and it was knocking the creosote you can see through the whole thing real good it's working real good now so if i get a chance it's too dark now and when i was doing it the other day it was freezing cold i didn't feel like getting a camera but when i was done i figured i probably should have made a video about it so tomorrow when it's daylight i'll try and show you what i share what i made maybe it'll help somebody out i don't know and if you have any better ideas let me know this is all i got i can't get up on the roof I'm not, because it doesn't just go through the roof, it goes out through the wall and along the side of the house. So to get on the roof and bend over, that's too much for me. I'm not doing see. that. That's the through the wall. And it goes up around the gutter, around the side of the house, and up. But now to get up there, I don't have a ladder to get up on the roof. And even if you are to get up there and to lean to get to that is pretty dangerous. And what I got here is the brush on the extension poles that go all the way up. You know, and that goes all the way up inside the cap through the chimney. And once it gets up to the top, I'll just kind of do like little banging taps to get it to, to come down. That kind of worked and it kind of didn't. It got me by. But what I did do, put this back. I took this pole that is actually an extension pole to change light bulbs. And I took two hose clamps and I took a wire brush and I put it on the end and tried scraping it, but that, that didn't work. Why is everything so dark? So I took the pole, took a piece of one by or first strip. And I put two screws, I couldn't find any nails, but I put two screws in it 
And then what I do, I take that on the ladder and I bang it into the into the mesh, into the screen. And that actually everything that's caked on the inside knocks it out or knocks it inside and then I just take the trap out. But the problem, I should really use nails or if you're going to do it, do nails. Because all the little perforation marks, all the, the threads, get stuck in the screen. And I had to yank and yank and yank. But that worked. So, that's how I clean. So that's how I clean my cap. If you have any better ideas or anything that works just as good without getting up on the roof and leaning all the way out, and yeah, I'm not doing that. So that's all I got for now. I'll talk to you later.